One of the first ideas I came up with for the film was the bungee ballet because I thought, what would Lara Croft do to relax? She's not going to play chess, she's not going to watch TV, she's going to jump 50 feet off the balcony of her staircase and bungee ballet. Turn over! We talked about it in the beginning of this film that the big thing for me would be to learn what I could from this person and kind of become her as much as possible. It's exciting and dangerous, but it's also beautiful. And I wasn't even sure whether she was ever going to be able to do it. I didn't know that I could do certain things. I never tried bungee ballet. It was all her. We did not use a double at all. You know, she does double, triple somersaults, coming right to the floor and then taking her right back up again. And that is something for a leading lady, your star, to do that was absolutely incredible. Originally, I planned to do it mainly with stunt doubles and then just kind of do the usual coming in for close-ups with the star. But of course, Angelina, you know, is brilliant and can do anything. And so when we put her in the rig, we found out that she could do it all herself. So I don't have to use doubles at all. That's great. Whenever you can have your star doing these things for real, then you should do it. She's amazing. But the bungee thing is just, it's fun. <laughs> it's just, it's free. She's really open and, and uh, flies back and falls forward and there's no boundaries. A lot of people live in a kind of careful space and she's just like, ah, really out. And that's the perfect thing, just to fly around and control it and go up and down. And, and it's very graceful, it's ballet. The bungee ballet was always in the script. On action, just straight past it, okay? But then we wanted to take it one stage further and there's an assault on the house with all the intruders coming in. So we wanted to use the bungee in some original way or form to dispatch all the intruders. Action. One of the main action sequences in the film is this attack on Lara's house. And of course this annoys her to a certain extent because she was relaxing. So um, she decides to take them on. It's very fun to watch, but it's very time consuming to shoot. Watch them go under, and then I'll shout now, and then the third one drops right in front of you, and that's when you go. Most of the time I'm having to explain that some things she just can't do, but it's not very much because uh, she's very young, athletic, and she's trained for months for this. So she's actually very skillful in all these things. One, action! The thing with her is that she, she learns so quickly. It's very surprising how fast she can learn something. They've all gone. Well, they got what they came for. A to Alpha Foxtrot, take one A camera. B camera. Angelina knows exactly what she wants, and she knows she's capable of doing lots of things. She wants to be involved in everything. Instead of backing down from, I don't want to be her, and I don't want to step back. Instead, you kind of want to jump from thing to thing and, and do some crazy thing and, and uh, get everybody to look at you and go, yeah, that's her again. D220, kilo, take one. This is once again when everybody starts to clear and I'm stuck on a prop somewhere. <laughs> you go into these fantastic sets. Um, you have these great action sequences. Uh, but at the center of it, you love this person. I mean, you just want to be with Lara Croft the whole time. And I discovered that from the first day of shooting. I, I just realized. As long as I'm pointing the camera at, at Angie, I can't go wrong. Okay. Here we go. Uh, it 
it was a lot more intricate than it appears because it's not just a fixed column swinging on it, you know, backwards and forwards. The whole idea of it is that it had to be released, had to move forward across the set as well as going down at the same time. We'd rehearsed this numerous times with the stunt doubles and both of them had to take motion sickness pills because they were on this column for about 20 minutes and they were both sort of getting seasick. And also, they actually found it very difficult. They couldn't stand up on the log. Angelina literally got on. She stood up straight away and she was like riding a surfboard. Everyone was so stunned. She did it better than the stunt doubles, better than what we'd seen in rehearsals. And I was saying this was not possible. As much of it as it's a thing for people to believe that I can be her, I really would like to be like her. So if anybody even thinks I'm remotely close to her, I'm extremely flattered. And if they don't believe that I'm anything like her, I kind of would say, well, yeah. <laughs> I agree. I'm the first one to say that I'm, you know, yeah, just uh, I'm a bit of a dork. So <laughs> at the end of the day, I'm clumsy. The Orrery set was actually very difficult because uh, it's a very mechanical set and there's a lot of elements in there that are actually not only difficult but dangerous. The harness that you have to wear has to be extremely tight and it is extremely uncomfy. I always used to say to her, remember the key word and the key word was suffer because it really hurts, there's nothing you can do about it and it's very dangerous, you're quite high up and uh, revolving around and there's nothing beneath you. But Angelina, she seems to have no fear. Wrong video. I just wanted to win, and I did. But now we save the world, right? And it's not now. What are you doing? Get him off the block. I said you were right. Just give me the clock. I know what to do. We never planned to blow up the orrery, but it soon became apparent that we're going to take it apart anyhow, so why don't we blow it up? I think at one point I had 14 cameras on, on the big set piece, just because these events are unrepeatable. I'm running through this orrery with water just crashing down, a tidal wave coming. There's planets exploding, debris falling. I'm not even acting, it's just like, go from here to here and don't get hit by anything. <laughs> we were all commenting that uh, how lucky we are to have uh, Angelina. She kind of raised the bar very, very high. Angie became Lara Croft, and so in a way, it was like I kept forgetting that she was an actress playing the part. Once she started things, there was, there was really no stopping her. There's so many things in this film. I'm really proud of it. I don't know how I'm going to adjust to normal life. Hey, it's Lisa. Did you know that the largest number of fatalities ever in a production of a film occurred during the shooting of the 1931 film Viking? 27 people died, including the director and cinematographer, when a ship they were shooting from exploded in the ice off the coast of Newfoundland. Do you like my shirt? You can get one for yourself in the link in the description.